so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov, impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind him. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Straight punch. Useful. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Oh, that's double leg, yes. All right, so there's the early takedown for the decorated grappler. Exactly what he wanted to do tonight. Exactly what he needed to do if he's going to want to win this fight. You've got to put arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. defense, not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Yep, got to be very careful there. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Nurmagomedov. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the this field. This is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Oh, massive knee to the head. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin. Main pick it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Nurmago Medov's in half guard now. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. All right, late round action here for being with Mago Medov, continuing to dominate the action, beautiful transitions, and I'm not sure anybody mixes their wrestling and the grappling as well as this guy. I mean, he's just so tough. He's willing to go through the fire in order to get the fight to the ground. He's been able to do that. He is one of the strongest fighters I have ever grappled with. The guy has tremendous strength, but it's not just the strength, it's the technical skills on the ground that has allowed for him to separate himself from the rest of the lightweight division. Another big thing. Khabib's in half goal. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! And there you go, again, half guard. Now he's going full mount. Oh, 
nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, man, has he come out with a point to prove tonight. Aggressive right out of the shoot, and really has landed at a pretty high clip here in this first round. Technical, but also aggressive and accurate. A very good start for him here tonight. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of when he's fresh. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground pounding. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Let's get this fight back down to the ground, and then we're in your world. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC, and he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round here. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedowns, to feel good about the way things are going, he gets an A on his report card. Because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured, and as you watch that clock start to blow up for top control, him and his team, are ecstatic because yeah. they know when they're on top, when they're secure takedowns, they're winning. Nermako Madoff's in half guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big right hook there by the champ. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Khabib's back in half guard, very comfortable here. High level guard pass there. Nermanko Medov's looking for that arm triangle. That is great submission defense. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. He's got the single collar in the clinch. There's that side kick. Nermago Medov. He's got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You gotta think that body investment is gonna pay dividends later. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Nice combination there. Man, DC is a big double leg, low change. There. 
Magomedov's in half court. Oh, right into Mount. Ground and pound strike there now. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. Side control now. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to man space. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Nermanko Medov's in half guard now. All right, side control now, DC. You know, he's, oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. He's attacking the Kimura, watch him. Oh, he's out. Well, he's got him softened up here. Final seconds here of round two. Are right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Ten minutes in the book. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's gonna have the size advantage. Okay. And with a throw in there, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control, he's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meta. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Another big kick now. Nurmagomedov's in half court. Now he's inside control. What submission is going to be? Oh, I think he's going for an arm triangle. He needs to push the left arm across to secure it with his head. And the oh! oh! winner by submission. What a performance. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 35 seconds of round number three. For the winner, by submission, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Hermano Mera. All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. You heard it there from Buff. He gets it done by submission tonight. I mean, this is a world. When you're having...